What's going on, Big Strong Gamers? This is Benson, and today I'm going to be going over random facts about Cold War Zombies Wonder Weapons. Let's get into it. The ray gun was first introduced not on zombies, but actually campaign. In World at War's campaign, the mission Little Resistance had a Easter egg as to where you could get it by completing a simple Easter egg and using it throughout the mission. Once discovered in zombies, though, it became a quick staple and long forgotten that it was introduced in the campaign. Random fact number two about the ray gun. It is the most remastered, reused Wonder Weapon that we've ever seen in Call of Duty Zombies. We see this in World at War, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, and even Cold War Zombies, and I'm sure to eventually see Vanguard Zombies. Random fact number three about the ray gun. There are a total of seven types of ray guns, eight if you're including the Ray-K from Firebase C. Ray gun fact number four. Cold War Zombies is the first game to actually introduce the ability to hold more than one ray gun. Look, I could sit here going on and on and on about ray gun facts, but let's just move on. The ray gun's been around for a while. Let's get into the more Cold War ones. Random fact about the Ray-K. I can't pronounce it god forsaken name like how how do you even pronounce that random fact number two about the ray k it's the first wonder weapon ever to technically have a grenade launcher random fact number three about the ray k it is the only wonder weapon that has 50 rounds in the magazine making it of course the highest magazine capacity wonder weapon random fact number four about the ray k for some odd reason its grenade under barrel causes a distortion field which slows down time if you're caught inside pretty odd never really thought it did that but eh, i guess we're here right fun fact number one about the cerberus it's the only wonder weapon that can talk to you. Random fact number two about the Cerberus. It still hasn't been added to Outbreak. Random fact number three about the Cerberus. It's Requiem's first take on experimental wonder weapons. Random fact number four about the Cerberus. It's the only wonder weapon that has alternative modes that you pick up from zombies, equaling four in total. Random fact one about the Chrysalax. Being made with the intent of only killing the Forsaken. Random fact number two about the Chrysalax. It's the first wonder weapon that's a melee weapon. You know, of course it shoots, but you know, that's besides the point. Oh, wait, 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 you're missing the Die Shockwave and its upgrades. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Tell me you liked it in the comments, and I'll make an episode on those. But if you made it far, you deserve a cookie, and I love you. But in that gamers, I will see you guys next one. Be a wonderful day. See ya.